Hey everyone, so today I have two 8x16s and I'm going to do a diptych flip and drag. I'm going to kind of go through uh, to corner to corner. And I um, do mix my paint spray with gunmetal metallic and that's why we have so much shine <laughs> on the camera and I'm really sorry about that. But I'm going to take a 5 ounce cup and spray it with my WD-40 silicone spray just so I can release all the paint. And because we're doing two canvases, um, I'm probably going to use a little bit more than my rule of thumb with the pinky. Um, if you watch my channel, I'll always say don't fill your cup higher than um, your pinky at the bottom of the cup. So you don't want to put more than that much paint in, which is usually about an ounce. So I might go just a tad over, just so I have some room to get through that middle break there. So I'm going to be using um, our Parage Posse paints. And I'm going to use the Silver Spoon. And with that, I'm going to use the Sleeping Beauty Turquoise. These are all custom mixed paints that I have available. If you're interested in the paints, um, shoot me an email at christinawalchart at yahoo.com. And I think I'm going to put another metallic in there. So I may go with the um, gold brush. And I think I'll also add uh, just a little bit of my Laguna, Christina's Laguna. This is a Naples yellow shade. Okay, I need a little bit of light colors to go with all this dark madness, right? So I went a little bit over my pinky, not much, but I am going to swirl all those colors together. And I am going to start in the corner here. So I'll let all that paint fall down. And I will poke a hole in my cup to release that suction so that my cup will glide on top of the canvas. We got a little bit coming out. All right, so then I give my little wiggle to make sure I'm floating. Of course, we dumped a pile there <laughs> right through the hole. See if I can pick some up and come back. Gives me enough to work with. Alright, and those do have silicone in them. Um, the gold and the silver did not, but the Laguna and the Sleeping Beauty Turquoise did. So we'll have reactions from the gold and the silver as well. I think once I tilt these a little bit and um, Stretch them will be all right for color. Because we are going to airbrush this out and um, open it up. Okay, let's move this one. I have a lot of color down here at the end. This is one of the reasons that I don't like to put my cup on one side. I like to start in the middle. Stretch some of that. I don't want a big blank spot there, but I do want the paint spray to show up. I just wanted something very um, feathery. There's a lot of silver there. Let's see, what do I want to do? I think I want to pour some of that off if I can. may not be able to get a lot off. Alright, let me stretch it back out. Alright, let's leave that alone then. It seems to be okay. Alright, let me go ahead and start airbrushing that and let's see how much we can get out of that. Um, when you mix up your jugs of paint, too, like I have the big jug made up already, save that paint because you'll more than likely have to touch up corners 
um, before you varnish. So you want to make sure you still have that same shade. We do a lot of different colors for backgrounds, so we always make sure we save that jug until that painting has been varnished. able to pull this end off just as well as we'll be able to do the other one. You want to give it a lot of um, movement. Pull some of that gold out. Go very light on the silver. So I'm going to try to um, bring some of this darkness into it. That uh, Laguna is beautiful in here. Silver is starting to sink into the paint's gray, which is cool. I actually love this little thing here. Um, I do need something here, so I'm going to push the silver in. Try to pick up a little bit of that gold and that turquoise. And we'll bring those right out. It does need something there, though. It's just sitting there. It's like a little island. So I will go ahead and push these right out into. Just seems like it needs so much more color there, doesn't it? All right, let me just take a little bit of the turquoise. And the gold. And the Laguna. I'm going to try to fix that. Right. I'm going to pop that cup right here and slide this canvas over just a little bit. So I don't want to drip on it. Oops, and I did. It's fixable. Everything's fixable usually. Grab some paint, touch that up. It'll all dry flat, so let me um, torch that a little bit. And then I'm going to move it around with my airbrush because I have to blend that in. some of that gold out into there. So we just put some color back in. That looks so much better, doesn't it? Okay, so you can fix it, right? We just proved it. Some of these air bubbles out. Now 
I have to be very careful when I bring these up to show them to you because I might drip on the other one. Isn't that beautiful? I just love Payne's Gray as a background, especially when it's metallic-y like that. Let me see if I can bring this one up and show you how I blended that. So it all worked out. Got some beautiful skins right there I can pull too. So there you go, guys. There's my Payne's Gray diptych. I just wonder if I should blend that, right? <laughs> I think it'll go together just fine. This is going to sink some more, and I can play around just a little bit with the airbrush on these ends to make sure it blends in with that one when I shut the camera off. But subscribe if you haven't already. Click on that bell for notifications. Click like and share. Share our videos on Pinterest and social media. Um, also leave a comment. Let me know what you think. And um, like I said, paints are available. Just contact me at Christina Walchart at yahoo.com. Um, we have ready to pour and we have it in the jars as well. So you can mix it yourself. I do have some on Etsy. You can buy it there as well. Um, also, join us every Monday Night Live at 9 p.m. We always have a blast on Monday nights. And we do four or five paintings depending on time and how slow Alan is. <laughs> But he has a good time, so that's all that matters. And um, check out all the links below. Shop with us on Amazon and Etsy and um, Stone Coat Art Coat Resin Coat is below. Um, we always throw in links for different products, so just check it all out. And we'll see you all on the next one. Bye now.